this every minute on the minute sequence, you're gonna have two options. One, a more dynamic option, we're adding a little hop to it, and the other without the hop. It's gonna be squat, double pulse, come up. And what you're gonna do is you start your timer, you complete all the reps prescribed with that squat with the double pulse. Let's say it takes you 30 seconds, you would rest for the time that you have left in that minute, so you would rest for 30 seconds, and then you repeat the sequence every minute on the minute for the amount of rounds prescribed, hence EMOM. So my squat with double pulse, option number one, or variation number one, I'm gonna go down one, two, and on the third one I come up, down one, two, third one I come up, down one, two, third one I come up. What I like to do when I perform this exercise is I count on that third rep. So I'm gonna go down one, two, and then up, one, one, two, and then up, two, one, two, and then up, three, and so on and so forth. The second variation or the second option with this exercise, I'm gonna go down, one, two, and on the third one I hop, one, two, third one I hop, one, two. Just a little hop, doesn't have to be anything too crazy. Regardless of whichever variation you choose, toes point out, just flared a little bit, knees point in that same direction. So we always have those knees coming over the toes. I'm putting some pressure into my heels, really trying to get my glutes to contract and relax as they shorten and lengthen as I go. Core is engaged the entire time, rest as needed, and then again, repeat the sequence every minute on the minute for the amount of rounds prescribed.